Good morning, friends. Um, because I'm seriously missing my uh, TA in my room, um, we're going to use her favorite greeting today, which is Jumbo. Jumbo, friends. Um, happy Thursday, man. We made it to Thursday. Pretty cool. It's not as nice today as it was yesterday, but... Um, and I really need to wash my hair. But you don't care, do you? You don't care. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to start off with our morning meeting. So... Today, I wanted to teach you about cliffhangers. So a cliffhanger is when you're reading a book and or even watching a movie or telling a story and you stop your story where it gets really exciting. There's a lot of writers that do a really good job of doing this. Um, some that you kids might be familiar with are the Magic Tree House books. They almost always have a cliffhanger at the end of each chapter where you're not sure what's going to happen. Um, Nancy Drew books are great with that too. That, that just shows you how old I am. Um, anyway, the story I'm going to tell you today though is actually a true story and I did write it all down last night to make sure that I had it all right. Um, and it's got a really good uh, couple of cliffhangers that I wrote into it. So I'm going to be sharing my story um, over the next day, two, three, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but um, I, I'm going to end on a cliffhanger. So you're going to have to watch Miss Orchid tomorrow to see how the story evolves or changes. So, um, and I really, really want you to send me your writing because I am only getting a couple of pieces of writing and you know it's my favorite thing. I love your writing. I love your stories. They're so important and they're so fun and you'll be so glad you sent them to me because then you'll always have them too. Um, okay, so my story for today is about um, a hamster. So when I was little, um, like I've told you lots of times because I'm a lot like some of you, didn't have a lot of money growing up and um, I loved animals, of course, we all do, and I really wanted um, a hamster. So I, I couldn't figure out how this was going to happen, but, um, I did end up getting myself a boyfriend who worked at a pet store. Not an accident. Kevin Wilcox, it was your brother, you know, but he worked at a pet store. So, you know, that's why I picked him. Anyway, that wasn't an accident. So my boyfriend who worked at the pet store managed to get me not only a hamster, but a cage and a water bottle and a little food dish and those little shavings that you need for your hamster. And um, yeah, it was kind of awesome. So I got this adorable little teddy bear hamster. He was super fluffy and I loved him so much. Um, but uh, this, this is a good thing, right? You know, it's very exciting that I got myself a hamster, but uh, this is not that kind of story because this story doesn't necessarily have a very happy ending, but on fiction, I won't lie to you. Now, this hamster had problems, serious problems, but um, you're probably wondering what they are. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the first one. So the first problem was that he was an escape artist. This hamster was like the Harry Houdini of hamsters. And if you don't know who that is, I want you to get on Epic Today or Pebble Go and look up Harry Houdini because you'll love it. Alex, I know you already know because we talked about him. Um, my hamster was the Harry Houdini of hamsters. He could escape any situation. And this would not normally be a huge problem, except that my room was incredibly messy, which I've also told you before about that. Because I had so many books and there was nowhere to put them. So my whole floor was covered with books. So many books that if I tried to run across my room, like if I saw a spider, I would wipe out because I would just slip and slide on all the books that were on my floor. There were just piles of books everywhere. They're my favorite thing. And I didn't have a TV, so... I had lots and lots of books because that was my, that's my thing. Still have lots of books. But anyway, um, my hamster would escape and he would hide in my room and I couldn't find him for a really long time. Like he would hide under my books or my bed and, and it was just terrible. So he was the Harry Houdini of hamsters. Now, um, my room was so messy that one time my mom made me do a, um, a science project, ew, um, about my room. And she made me take before and after pictures of my room um, before and then after I cleaned it. And she gave me those pictures like a month ago. She saved them. I'm 48. She saved them all these years. So anyway, that's how bad it was, I guess. I mean, I think it was just a normal kid's room, but whatever. Okay, so 
Now, that wasn't the worst problem, though, the Harry Houdini-ness. The worst problem was that my hamster would... Now, you're not going to believe me, but I swear to you, this is true. He would die. Now, pay attention to how I said that. The worst problem was that he died. But he died a lot. What? Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind, Miss Orchid? What are you talking about? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to finish the story tomorrow. But it's the truth. The biggest problem with my hamster was that he would die a lot. He wasn't sleeping either. I'm going to leave it there. He was a Harry Houdini miracle hamster. And I will finish that story tomorrow. And I'm going to show you my writing up to that point later on on the Class Dojo. A um, couple of other things today, friends. I am going to try really hard to figure out how to use a... Um, conferencing thing called zoom because i miss your faces oh my god i miss your faces so much i miss your cute little faces Ugh, tim i miss your mohawk i mean i miss putting my hands in it i miss oh, i just miss you so much and i really want to see your little faces so if i can figure out how to do it um and my friends are doing it they can help me because we help each other especially when there's times like this you got to help your friends help each other so if i figure it out we could have a real meeting and I'm really excited because I miss your faces. And please send me your picture today. Just send me a picture of your face because I love you and I miss you so much. So please send me a picture of your face. All right, my friends, it is Thursday. So have a great Thursday. Um, look for a writing lesson today. I post what I just told you, my cliffhanger. If you want to write a story that leaves me with a cliffhanger, oh my God, it'd be so great. I would love to read it and then not be able to think about anything else until tomorrow when I get to read the next part of your story. So try to write a story with a cliffhanger today. And I'm going to do a math lesson later. Um, and I'll read you my Harry Potter. So I'll see you later. Love you. Love you.